I tried it with multiple things. I was thinking maybe elements not pick friendly. Like, am I what in the hell? Okay, so the water just hadn't loaded. There's there's giant squids in that one, dude. They do spawn. You know how freaking rare it is to come across an ulti right now? Like, this is absolutely the rarest thing. On I, I was told they don't spawn, but they do spawn. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here, back with another Ark Anunnaki Survival Series video, here to ask you guys one very important question. Do you know their way? <laughs> Do you know their way? Dude, this- I'm sorry. But this is just going to have to be on my face for this entire episode. Cheese, the wonderful mod developer Cheese, has went ahead and made a skin mod where we could all legit be Uganda Knuckles, which is, of course, on the subscriber series now, on the subscriber server. I highly recommend everyone on there goes and slaps this bad boy on. So when I hop on there, we could just go around as a giant pack of Uganda Knuckles asking everyone if they know their way. And we could spit on the non-believers. No, he's, he, he clearly knows their way. Alright, enough of that for those of you who are completely sick of that meme. I am not. I find it hilarious even though it's been all over the internet for like weeks now. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of really fun to say. It's rare to find a meme that's really fun to say. Alright, so one thing, there's been a slight few couple... Oh my god, I just played like an hour of Fortnite. I don't know how I just missed that. Good lord, so I did just move this thing right here just because, um, this almost really isn't even worth mentioning, because again, this entire base is... I guess this base is gonna stay here no matter what, but when, um, when this entire map updates with all the insane aberration stuff and all that jazz, which has hit the dev kit, by the way, aberration mods are starting to flood it. It's actually getting pretty crazy. Leave a like if you guys are excited for that new base, or just generally want to see more Anunnaki episodes. Or just more arc. Honestly, I count them all in the same category. You were never placed well, were you, buddy? I really didn't think that double door out twice. What the hell are you doing just chilling up there? Oh my god, I've lost my skill of dome shots. Alright, one thing that is freaking sweet that we're gonna be doing right here is one of the first aberration mods has been, of course, Eco's Aberration Decor. Eco is just always on the front line with everything modded. She, she provides the most beautiful lush terrain things ever for us, so this world is actually going to be very... Large blue luma tree. This is like the prettiest one right here. Oh, we got the small luma tree. These luminescent trees are so friggin' gorgeous right here. So you better believe this entire area is gonna be so spanking gorgeous. I don't even know how this is gonna look, but I'll try it out because I don't care. Oh my god. Look how perfect. Oh my god, the base already looks so much better. Holy crap. Okay, so one of my main goals right now, obviously where we left off, is we we're raising an army. That's what the... That's what the cloning machine is for, is raising it up. God dang, this is like... This is like a giant Scarlett Johansson. No, no, no. I feel like whenever something's gorgeous, I go right to Scarlett Johansson. That chick is ridiculous. Okay, so I feel like I gotta get one more tree in here before we go continue our regular tasks. Let's see, we got trees. We got rocks, element, loom rock, large element rock. Ooh, give me a large element rock. Can I harvest it? There's, there's no way you can, but that would be the best thing ever. We got you. We got your plants. Oh my god, there's so many beautiful, all the sponges, so many sponges. Ooh, the fruit pod. A lot of beautiful stuff in there. We got a bunch of mushrooms. Ooh, mushroom cluster. Oh my god, I gotta put one of these in here. It's just like an aberration, except you don't have to freaking dance around these damn things like you're gonna be poisoned out the wazoo. That's so beautiful. Let's check out crystals. Ooh, a bunch of, ooh, those red crystals. Ooh, red crystal cluster. Ooh, pink crystal shard. Purple crystal shard. Holy crap. I don't know, man. Some of these... I really do love these green crystal buildups though, they provide such nice green lighting, it's so, so beautiful and such. Obviously the first aberration mods to come through are purely decorative, but I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining, this stuff is freaking gorgeous, darling. And um, obviously the next thing to come through will be creatures. I've already spoken to Shadlos about some things he's working on that are straight up bananas. This thing looks limp. What happened? Why does this look slightly Freudian? Get that get the, a little, little too Freudian for me. And then you, I suppose you're just a plant, right? Since we can't actually... I would like hundreds of you all over the place. Some green crystals push... No, no, no. When I'm slightly sticking out of the water. Ooh, like calcium buildups or something. That's so pretty. And then my favorite. Oh, you gotta put them down one at a time. Okay, then I'm gonna put it down over here. Because I, I suppose I'd have to put down like a hundred of these mushrooms then. And that's not how I'm living life right now. Alright, now one thing's for starters, upon continuing this army and such, we need to go off on a little adventure, you see. A little adventure to glory and such. I definitely still have you on there. I had like three of these. I, I freaking 
Need to get the- I don't know why I don't have the upgrade station in here now. Originally it was like a slight protest because we already have such powerful items and such being at Anunnaki that um there didn't seem to be a purpose. But now it's to the point where the creatures, I mean, you guys remember that Prime Alpha Megalodon from last episode with like 2 million health? 2 million, it was just a random Megalodon swimming around at 2 million health. I honestly don't think upgrading our stuff would be that overpowered at this point now. I think it'd be kind of necessary. Also, where the hell are we going? Ooh, it's also Saturday. I hope everyone's Saturday is going pretty good. I think my Saturday is going about as amazing as a Saturday can go. Because I'm just going to be playing Ark all day. And then around 2 or 3, I'm going to stream Halo 3 and Fortnite with Arcade. It's actually looking like a pretty damn good day. I don't know where I'm going right now. I can't, I'm like going off land, river land. God, how does, how does like Mr. Fog or whatever, how does it go so far inland? This is usually more of a beach type thing. Look, there's just water pouring. Okay, so that would be the mountain. Mountain with the waterfall. This is the area we're supposed to be checking by. By the way, big thanks to everybody who has been hinting where they found the dragon boss in their world, because clearly that's the last trophy we're missing before making the boss tribute and being able to tame bosses. He has her saying basically around this general vicinity, but um, around this vicinity. No, around that vicinity. But the thing you guys were saying is that the dragons, you have to be so incredibly close to them for them to load that, um, you can't really just fly around looking for them. Like, you literally gotta comb the landscape. Oh, it's just an ice wyvern, damn it. I heard dragon breath, I got all excited. Ice wyvern's like the only one I generally don't care about. If I have to pick one to ride, it's gonna be a fire poison. I've never even seen a mountain wyvern before, I don't even know if that's a thing. All right, we're here to grab elements, not make any enemies, and then get the hell out of here. It's our whole goal in life. By the way, is it, does anyone know if I tried it with multiple things? I was thinking maybe elements not pick friendly. Like, am I what in the hell? Okay, so the water just hadn't loaded. There's there's giant squids in that one, dude. Remember last time, the last episode, we went into one of these water orbs. And a bunch of piranha attacked us like there's actually living sea creatures inside those water orbs Well, that one apparently has a bunch of squids in it So apparently we got lucky with the one just with a bunch of freaking piranha Scary stuff man Comment down below if you guys have played this before if you guys have just seen a familiar series What kind of sea creatures can actually be in those things? Oh, there's Holy crap look They do spawn they do spawn! You know how freaking rare it is to come across an ulti right now? Like, this is absolutely the rarest thing on- I, I was told they don't spawn. But they do spawn! Oh, it's a male, 130. No way, they do freaking spawn! No way, it's just like a one in a bajillion chance that they're gonna spawn. Oh my god, you know how sad it is that that's not a female right there? Like, you know how painfully upsetting it is that that's be like, like that is such- Okay, we gotta really watch out, cause ulties, even as a male- I mean, it's, Obviously the males are just as, like, formidable as the females, but obviously we can't breed with two males. But that is absolutely bananas. The one we have, I've leveled up like crazy, so he's stronger, but that's- I don't want to tame it, cause we have a cloning device. It's just crazy to see. I'm honestly thinking I should kill it. So I can open up the spawn and we get a better chance of getting a female ulti in here. But I have, I have, um, plans. As far as female ultis go. That is bananas though, dude. Like, I can't even stress this enough. There's like a one in a trillion chance that dude will be here. That's, that's freaking crazy. It's <laughs> the odds. The sheer odds of that are preposterous. I really gotta watch out though, because we have... Wild ultis, um, um, Godzilla gave the ulti, like, insane amounts of abilities. He wanted it to be the top creature, or amongst the top creatures. So it's, it, it's basically, I guess it's just like the, uh, the UD where it scares things away and whatnot, but it does it with such terrifying force. I, if he gets a hold of my wyvern, we're gonna have some serious problems on our hands. That dude is gonna run away for, like, miles. Also, I can't really see anything either, I apologize, but that's why we usually have our little glow pet with us. That's why glow pets are amazing. I think we take them for granted. I don't feel like just raising gamma feels- it just feels cheap now. I keep rubbing my left eye, so by the end of this video, my left eye, the one closest to you guys, that one is gonna look freaky! I'm gonna look like I straight up smoked a pound of weed or something. And the left eye and the right eye is gonna look totally normal. Dude, that is- 
honestly, this whole island is throwing me such a curveball this episode. We got a freaking ulti and... And look at that, just a squish chilling inside that giant floating ball of water. That's straight up stuff of nightmares right there. <laughs> there's, there's so much stuff that can kill me in such a small vicinity. It's, it's, it's actually amazing me a little bit. Oh, balls! He's getting danger close. Danger close, danger close, danger close. Eesh! And how much element do we have? Okay, it's officially so dark I can't see anything. It's time to get the hell out of here. It is, it is pitch black, son. What the hell? I can't even see my dragon. I'll look back that way. Okay, so that's absolutely it's not even nighttime. It's just what it looks like around here. Donkey, let's say how many how much element do we get? 690. I wanted to come away with at least a thousand element. There is some still on these islands which aren't completely engulfed in hurricane weather. Yeah, I'd like to really avoid you, buddy. That's actually an ice fiber again would be the best one to come in contact with. It could get a lot freaking worse. Wow, these look so pretty when they're not engulfed in like chemical storm. What the hell is going on over here? I'm so confused I can't see nothing. This is authentic though. This is what you're supposed to be seeing when you come into this area. Just stars? What the hell? It's like pitch black out. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here right now because I feel like all any of us can see right now is this crystal in front of me. Should have brought a light pet. Always got to keep Abby with us at all times. I visually can't see anything. I'm not waiting for a damn thing to run out of the darkness and attack me right now. That's just... <laughs> that's it's gonna happen. It's an inevitability. I will not be there for it. Wow, what a good day for creatures. Hey, I gotta see what level it is. I seriously doubt it's gonna beat God Slayer because she is, um. She's straight up bananas. 8, 8, 8 97, though. That's. Wait, no, you're, you're. The other one was 897. You are. You just. Wait, what, what, what was 897? Oh, it was the other T Rex. That's what confused me. There's actually a bunch of high level Rexes over. Oh. But he's eating them all. Okay, so it, was, it wasn't the fire rex that was an extremely high level. It was just... So never mind, you're not actually that great. Oh, so it's just generally nighttime. That's what that is. Ah, touche, Ark. Just for the... Okay, 598. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it was like some insane godly level, then perhaps. But it's, it's, just, it's just basically a regular old... Holy hell! I just sat down at the wrong spot. I'm trying to get a freaking level off on this T-Rex right here. But I can't. My spyglass sucks. It won't. It doesn't work right. And the weather on this island is absolutely insane. I feel like no one can see anything around here at night. What is it down there that just is so much damage? Was it you? You're a prime alpha woolly rhino with oh, 1.5 million health. I can't see a damn thing in front of me. I found you. You sneaky bastard. 851, that's pretty crazy right there. Like, that's a pretty beefy... Ooh, there's a Mega Pithic. What else is around here that I can't see because it's so freaking close? Cl uh, cloudy? Smoggy? Foggy. Is that where those words come from? They're just combinations of each other? I want to get that Rex, but at the same time, we already have, like, a max level. We already have... Or not a max level, but basically max level. which is pretty damn up there. We can just mass breed. Wish I could tame this Prime Alpha Rhino. What is going on here? Hey, look, it's Rudolph. What's going on, buddy? I see Rudolph all over the place. He's the local around these parts. He actually is, like, Rudolph is the only consistent creature that's never going to go anywhere because he just generally flies around in this area. He's always in this area, and he flies around, so nothing's generally going to get to him. Besides, I think he's got, like, a buttload of health. What are you? What the hell? Why are you so white and pale, buddy? Dude, he's got little red bits around him. Something is special about that Rex. There's so many crazy Rexes around here. So many fire Rexes on the server today, actually. This, where, where, what are you doing? How is that the most open landing spot? It's like clear above, <laughs> it's above a, it's above an open drop, you stupid idiot. All right, what are we looking at? Okay, an Alpha Tyrannosaurus level 740. 23,000 health. That's actually not that crazy. I thought those, I thought Alphas were pretty nuts. But to be honest, after all the insanely high level dragons I've come across, I mean, after insane, like we have God Slayer. God Slayer is a crazy chick. She's like an Alpha, but she's got way more health. She regenerates health way quicker and she does way more damage. The day we find a Mountain Rex or a Mountain Spino, I'll be so happy. We'll just clone the poop out of those. 
Let me know down below if you guys want me to go fight a warden next episode, by the way, because we've officially gotten to the point where it's time to, um... I'm actually keeping an eye. I need to keep a lookout where Nasher is because we need to fight Nasher first just because he's... He's right in the area. It's so easy. Plus, I'd like to get a nice little read off right now on how much health he's got. I don't know. Nasher the giant turtle spawns in, spawns in beach, beach, beach biomes. I can't speak words. And this is like generally the only beach this entire our area. Our home. Not to mention he's a giant turtle making it a lot harder for him to... <laughs> he's, he's freaking huge. There is, no, there is no hiding for that guy. Ooh, what do we got going on down here, Sharon? Level 130, Dragon Godling Push, y'all. Should come back here and kill you and take your organs and stuff. Sacrifice them to the gods. I would not mind some more divine drought. Wait. Oh, I know. I thought I heard you. Gotta listen for that slight, like, um, a tribal whistle or whatever the hell that noise is that plays as soon as you get within the vicinity of a warden. It's pretty much what I'm listening to. You'll hear it, like, no matter how far above them you are. I mean, what I'm listening for, not listening to. I actually can't seem to find this bastard right now. We've ran into him so many freaking times. I found a whale. I found the great white whale, and I can't even... <laughs> if I can find a big whale, I can find a big turtle. He might be underwater is the thing, though. Like, three of our warden encounters on this world, the uh, wardens have been super deep underwater. Oh. Oh, you're just another one of those. Oh no, it sounds like that is not a Jurassic Park Parasaur. So yeah, Valkyrie, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I'm calling the search short right now. I'll go find this guy later. But let me know if you guys want me to make it an immediate task. Because I feel like in every episode where we've gone around looking for dragon godlings to tame, we've come across Nasher. So he shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, you know, and knowing my luck, he's just... Oh my god, that tree is just exquisite! Knowing my luck, he's just going to be, um... He's just gonna spawn like freaking five feet in front of my base. So when we do do a boss battle, it's gonna involve everything we love and hold dear. Can anybody comment below actually where we last, if you guys just remember where we last saw him? Cause I know we've seen him in many episodes. I just kinda wanna just see how much freaking health he's got right now. So I can start planning accordingly for this fight. There's really only this little island right here is my last place to check. After this, I just need to, I don't know, comb the island much better and Possibly certain no, because we haven't seen him in the water. We've only seen the Sarko Warden in the water. But he's always by the beach. That's like where he spawns. I really thought we'd have better luck just looking for him real quick. It seems silly. Yeah, let me just go find this warden in like five minutes. But the amount of rare creatures we've seen in this episode so far. Pretty pretty up there. So I just figured, you know, why not why not try it? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about the tree. Oh my god, I forgot about the spikes! Oh my god, I did not see that dodo. Oh my god, I'm still taking damage. Who the hell is going on? Oh my god, a level 920 prime alpha. That's only got 200k health though. Look at that Torpor. I don't know why it even has Torpor. You can't tame these things. I think he's a beast. You must be some of the boss music I've been hearing. You're slightly confusing me, sir. It's like not even remotely near um what Warden music sounds like, but still when you hear that little whistle, you know, it's like kind of a kind of a thing. I love that we have two Punishers. One does say clone, I will fix that for sure. I just need to, I'm kind of reevaluating some things. Seeing how things should go down. Okay, yeah, see this thing is so much freaking stronger than that Alpha. You've, you've got nothing, sir. Alright, it's time to throw God Slayer into the cloning device. Because like I said, it's time to go slay some Wardens, man. You see all these little, all those little, um, there, let's go ahead and turn you on. All those little, what do you call them? I just made a lot of element shards, but again, I'm gonna clone me a giant army. But, um, I can't remember at all what I was talking about or what I was trying to say, but damn, was it specific and relevant to what I was saying. You better get the hell out of here, little man. Can't you see our beautiful trees? Why would you even want to mess with such a thing? Such a noble tree giving people. We've got our own avatar tree, for Christ's sakes. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring. God Slayer on over to the what is this woo 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 there no that's how did I just select the replicator from down here oh yeah see that that kind of stuff right there really raises the property value all right God Slayer I don't know exactly how much that's why I wanted to get a read off on the warden's health if anyone remembers remotely how much health like the turtle warden has please comment it down below for I would severely love to get my hands on that information just to kind of calculate how many 
Rexes were gonna go towards him because of course like this sort this uh, Kind of stuff right here is the goal. You guys remember Raphis the Dota Rex boss? Oh my god So we just need five essence of each of them see the second one down orange Nasher That's the first one we're going for smoke at the bottom is no joke. That one's gonna be a bitch Honestly, we're probably gonna go for Karkinos after that's so funny how Karkinos was, was the name of the croc get uh, croc warden But now it's like a another thing an arc Bikito! Bikito spawns in the mountains, I know that for sure. Ooh, we're gonna find these guys, dude. But yes, you see, you need warden stuff to do it, so we gotta kill the wardens first to get the job done. It's basically what's going on here. Alright, let's see how much it takes to clone one of you bad boys. It's probably gonna take forever. Because that's typically how long things take. Clone. Oh my god. 83,000 shards. I guess that makes sense. He's a big creature. But still... I spit on the non-believer. It's just really fun doing. I know it's kind of an irritating and annoying meme, but you gotta understand, memes have to be a little annoying and entertaining just for them to be somewhat catchy. That's how things go. For every entertaining YouTuber, there's someone out there who thinks that person sounds cringy as hell. <laughs> Alright, I did not bother to count these, because that's just not how I roll, so let's just hope that it's enough. I... Oh, yeah! Okay, what are we looking at now? What time? Oh my god! Only three hours to tame this? Well, good! I thought it was gonna take like forever or something. Oh, thank god. Okay, well, never. Oh, it's probably the saddle, right? I should have taken the saddle off. Well, obviously, God Slayer. Can I step in this? Am I gonna get like superistic future aids or something? I don't even remember killing a Thurzino. Alright, buddy. See, so, yes, obviously, the army is gonna come at great cost and such like that. As soon as this dude's done, I'm throwing another one back on there. I'm just gonna keep an endless line of these bad boys going. And I'm assuming, I don't know, comment down below what you guys think. Comment what you guys think would be. I, I'm thinking we should be able to go at it with, like... Honestly, I'm thinking we should just because I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be saying we should be cloning Thanos right now instead of God Slayer. But, cause God Slayer, Thanos has a lot of freaking health. Ooh, perhaps, perhaps a combination of the two is what I'm thinking. Cause these guys do a lot more damage than Thanos, but Thanos has a lot more health. Perhaps we just bring in about three Thanoses and like four God Slayers. They distract with the damage while everyone else does all, or they distract with the health, everyone else does all the damage. I think that would be a, a noble conquest for the most part. Like that would be, I don't know. That's why I need you guys to comment down below what you guys, what you guys are thinking about this situation because this is all of our survival series I'm not trying to well, God Slayer is not going in and Thanos isn't going in we're gonna send we'll send the clones in to do the to do that kind of dirty work which yes we have, oh, oh that's my balls we have found their way brothers it it is brothers <laughs> I don't even think that's how Ugandan say brothers that's more how like four-year-olds say brothers oh good we can walk through the tree all right, now I can clearly undo this at any time, so it's no biggie, everybody. We could um, we could undo this at any time, and then everything goes back to to beautiful normalness and such. But while we're here, really quick, I just want to see how beautiful an aberration we could really get this neighborhood. I feel like that sounds super fun. Oh hell yeah, son! Here's the spore stems. That's what I'm talking about. These are the these are those crazy ones. Like this this is what I associate with aberration more than anything right here. Gotta have some spore stems. All right, let's check this out. So you guys are the giant stemo spores, correct though? Beautiful. I have to equip my rifle again to unequip it. Oh wait, no, I don't. Just do this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, that's damn fancy right there. I gotta put one right here too. It's not even, doesn't even line up perfectly with it, which is gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna have to ch end up changing that, but um, it's just, you know, nature doesn't grow perfectly. What about you right here? How's that look? Ooh, confusing, but also pretty. That's what those are. Okay, I remember you. <laughs> I get where you're from, sir. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty behind us right there. Oh, no. The, he gets blocked out by the mask. <laughs> oh, my God. This looks gorgeous. All right, where should we put you? Oh, there we go. Now it'll set down a large blue loom. Okay, so that's just another one of those. Perfect. Let's put you down right here. Oh my god, this place is some of these growing out of the water. Oh my god, I'm in love with it. This is the best mod ever. I mean, there's two of the best mods ever, so let's not, let's not forget. But that's it. Well, let's not act like any one mod makes Ark any better. Let's just admit they both make it perfectly. 
Ooh, I like that somehow. It seems super crowded, but also super pretty. And then which one are you? Oh, just a little delicate po poopy spore floating up on the poop. All right, over here we have an element's bush. This place is getting pretty crowded, but I kind of like it. I could always undo any of it is the thing. Like we're just kind of checking out the prettiness right now. Maybe just make believing that's all the ecosystem has just kind of like taken over, you know? Wow, these ones are way prettier. Yeah, that's gorgeous right there. Look at this full-on aberration pace. Now that's damper. Oh man, those redwood trees. Damn it, I gotta get a few more of those bad boys in here. It's so pretty. Alright, let's put one right here. Oh, zam. And then... Honestly, I like this neighborhood to be a little bit more decorated. Let's put one right there. Make the whole area prettier. One right there. I suppose they should be spreading these trees out a little more, but I'll figure it out in time. Oh, it looks so much better in here. Oh my god, none of that- Oh wow, I really need to update the gravestone. I know for a fact we've lost more creatures than that says right there. I just like it going into the wall now. It looks better that way. It looks better going into the- Oh yeah, building out of the mountainside. Is that possible? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, this place looks amazing. You guys gotta admit. It looks pretty fancy. Like, it looks a lot better all natured out and everything. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous right here. How's our buddy doing? I imagine he's almost finished. Just like... Oh, yeah, we're nearing that time. It's because he's such a monster high level. Jesus Christ. It'd be worth it, though. When world domination is... all oh, this whole area looks so much better. Oh, my God. This, this episode was so nice. All right, so let me know. You guys pretty much get to decide next episode. Let me know if it should involve... Warden hunting or adventure taming comment down below and let me know because you guys pretty much make the call God so pretty all right guys if you had a good time watching make sure to leave a like subscribe comment your ideas down below and most importantly Overall over anything. Do you know they way? <laughs> Do you know they way? All right, peace! It's time to get